Hello people, another video from uh, this room here. <laughs> it's mostly used by the kids, uh, but uh, though I'm gonna show you uh, just the good bits of the room. <laughs> so it look good in the video, isn't it? Now for all of you, my subscribers, and also for some people that are they coming, they're watching, maybe they don't subscribe just yet. I'm gonna show you, because as you know, on this channel I do as well breaking news. I'm trying to show as much as I can everything that is trending. So, even things that are somehow um, very controversial and when you bring political figures and you speak about them, they are controversial. Not to mention uh, who is more controversial than Trump. Well, why is he so controversial? Okay, let me give you my take before jumping into this. He is so controversial because he is anti-mainstream. Every single mainstream media outlet, every single one, even Fox News, they are not 100% positive to him, but on the contrary. <laughs> but maybe they say, uh, some, they say, oh, the Fox News is a conservative outlet. It's not true. The Fox News as well is what it is. What? Mainstream. That's the key word in uh, this equation. And uh, what mainstream does? Mainstream follows a prophet. Mainstream follows an agenda. Their agenda is not to present the truth, as I say many times, but to manipulate people into believing in a certain way. If you want to know the truth about all these outlets, Either there's Fox News, CNN, ABS, whatever, and all of them they call news, when in reality they are propagandists. They're not news outlets. If you want to know the truth about them, see who owns them, <laughs> who are the people behind them, and then you'll know. If those people want to promote a certain thing that benefits them, not benefiting the people like me, like you, then that's what they will promote. And they go very much against Trump because, as I said, Trump is anti-mainstream. In Fox News, there are some some figures, some like Greg Gutfeld, for example, that seems to be very friendly to Trump. Now, is he friendly to Trump because um, he b truly believes that uh, Trump is good for uh, America, for the world? Is he doing it for money? Because he knows that um, Trump is a, <laughs> I let's call it this way, cash cow. Every single time when he comes in this uh, cable news networks, cable TVs, uh, the audiences uh, are skyrocketing. <laughs> so the ratings, that's all that matters to them. It's about the ratings. It's about profit. It's about money. Let the cash flow. <laughs> That's all there is. It never actually is about small people. It's never actually about me, about you. I think it's time for us now, honestly, to ditch cable news network. And uh, internet is the future. No wonder the governments of this world are trying to regulate the internet. And now they're using this. They say uh, because of fake news. <laughs> no, because they want to have the control, they want to uh, have this um, power to define the narrative, yeah, uh, and to carry on with their own narratives, and they say whatever doesn't uh, fit to what we're saying is fake news. Sounds familiar, isn't it? <laughs> it happened already. So uh, that's my comment to what you were about to see. You're going to see Trump. And Greg Gutfeld show the best moments of him there, and of course uh, he went uh, in Greg Gutfeld's show, and uh, their ratings uh, went through the sky. Him being there gave to Greg Gutfeld the biggest uh, ratings in the history of the show. And I'm not surprised that this is happening. I was not expecting less. So uh, let's take a look at these very best moments that I could find. With Trump being there, it, that's what is trending, that's what is news.
and of course i'm going to bring it here on my channel with my comments as you saw already as you hear already with my 50 cents as always because uh, i don't like to take the material <coughs> to drop it here and um, there will be no input to it and there will be no purpose in posting this way and uh, you know me i never do something like this i have to have my input as well so let's take a look three two one Go. <laughs> Mr. P, how's your golf game? Well, I uh, haven't been thinking about it too much lately. <laughs> was, uh, I, I always said golf is a very dangerous game. It really <laughs> is. It, it really is. Especially if they're playing with you. Yeah, that's true. That's, what, uh, that was a mean sad. joke? <laughs> pretty sad. <laughs> Did you, if they had told you that the shooter was there, would you have tried to take him out with your three wood? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so, if I knew. <laughs> Mr. P, how's your golf game? Well, I uh, haven't been thinking about it too much lately. <laughs> was, uh, I, I always said golf is a very dangerous game. It really <laughs> is. It really is. Especially if they're playing with you. Yeah, that's true. That's, what, uh, that was a mean sad. joke? <laughs> pretty sad. <laughs> Did you, if they had told you that the shooter was there, would you have tried to take him out with your three wood? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so, if I knew. Like how you how you take these events so not lightly, but it's almost casually the way like I get more angry, you know, when my pant pocket gets caught on a doorknob. <laughs> I get angrier about that than you get angry about getting shot at. It doesn't. How do you how do you process that? Well, number one, do I have a choice? Yeah. Right? <laughs> am I gonna, what am I going to do, right? Yeah. Do we have a choice. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. I was thinking a lot about it over the last period of time since uh, Butler. Mm -hmm. And being president is a very dangerous job because with a race car driver, that's a dangerous job. It's like one tenth of one percent die mm -hmm. with a bull rider. I think bull riding looks pretty scary, right? Yeah. It's a little bit more than that die mm -hmm. with a president. What is it, 6% or 7%? It's the most yeah. dangerous profession there is. So if you want to be president, I have a lot of friends that wanted to run. They're thinking about maybe not doing it. But here's the, the only good thing is that it's always a consequential president that gets shot at. Mm -hmm. uh, and fortunately, so far, I've been very lucky. Or something is uh, greater than all of us. Ooh. <laughs> Something is, something is up there. Someone is up there maybe watching over us. Uh, I think he's voting for you. Yeah. <laughs> and now what they've done with the border and the wall and the whole thing, I could have built an extra 200 miles. I built much more than I said I was going to build, and it worked. I had the Mexican government giving us 28,000 troops. We had so many Mexican troops, they had no choice. They had to. Otherwise, I said, I'm going to put tariffs on your cars that you stole from. You know, they stole 32% yes. of our car industry, okay, you know, which is not, we'll get it back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I really felt I wanted to do it because we can make our country. The Make America Great Again is such a great MAGA, is such a great uh, tag. And I watched Biden where he was very angry at MAGA. He said, we've got to stop MAGA. And I'm saying, it's make America great again. You yes. know, it sort of, sort of, it sort of doesn't work so well, right? Make America great again. And that's what we'll do. If you think of it, we have 21, I believe it's 21. They say 16, but what difference? I mean, it's a lot of people, more people than any country could sustain. 21 million people, many come out of jails and prisons, slight difference between one being a little bit more harsh. Uh, they come out of mental institutions and insane asylums. They come out of terrorist schools. They come literally out of schools, but they're terrorists. We have people coming from gangs, the worst gangs in the world, MS-13, considered the meanest gang. They cut people up. They don't want to use guns. They attacked two young 16-year-old beautiful girls walking to school. They cut them up with a knife. They didn't want to shoot them because it wasn't painful. They both died. Mm. And these people are coming out into our country. And now you look at what's happening in, like, Aurora in Colorado, Venezuela, Venezuelan gangs are taking over the real estate. They're becoming real estate developers and they have. Do they get little cards? Uh, they have whatever they want. You know, like a little real estate card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they have li their little card is a bullet. Yes. <laughs> it is funny. Waltz is a strange. Dude. Oh, he's, yeah. he's strange. He is oh, strange. Crazy. Him and I are the same age. How does he look so much younger? <laughs>
Now, he's a strange guy. <laughs> strange You know, um, he called up years ago. I was in the White House. And he said, my house is being surrounded by people with American flags. I said, is that a good thing or a bad thing? He said, I think they're going to attack me. But this was during the riots and everything else. They were MAGA people. You know, they like the American flag, all right? And they also had Trump. And I said, how do you know? There were about 15,000, he said. He said, could you put out a word like that? I'm your friend. I don't even know him. But that's the only time I ever spoke to him. And if you look back long ago, tweets before truth, tweets. Long ago, I put out a statement. He's a good man, the governor. He's on our side. It's, I, don't, I didn't know him, but... I didn't want him to get hurt. And everybody put down their flags and they left. Yes. He said it was a miracle. <laughs> he said it was a miracle. I didn't want him to get hurt. Scared by the American flag. They just, they just, they are. They, they say he's not a nice guy. I would have, I would have had fun with I that. Mean, I'm like, call the barbecue, go outside. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he remembers it, actually. He, remember, he was a little bit nervous about things. They had one guard. He said, we have one guard at the door. Mm -hmm. It was the mansion, the mansion for yeah. the state. Then he said, we have one guard at the door and you have 15,000 people out there. And I'm a little bit, I don't know, they look violent. I said, are they carrying the American flag? They're not going to be violent. <laughs> yes. But I put out a statement and uh, they, they just went back. They just, it was sort of a beautiful thing in a lot of ways. Beautiful. Yeah. We're at the beginning because that's what their natural inclination is. Her father is a Marxist professor. I mean, that's the way it is. And he's currently, and I don't know what happened to the father, but we haven't seen him. I'd love to be able to talk to him. You know, Barack Hussein Obama's brother is supporting Trump. This Governor Waltz, his brother and his whole family is supporting yeah. him. In fact, they want to make contributions to my campaign. Well, to be fair, a lot of brothers are supporting President Trump. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. That's true. Lay up. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do over here. It's video of the day. Hey, hey, part two. Our second video of the day comes to us from RFK Jr. During a recent event while campaigning for President Trump, he was asked what he thought about Trump as a person, and he shared this amazing story. I, I've known uh, President Trump for many years, and I, um, on two occasions I sued him. Uh, <laughs> for, he was trying to build re uh, golf courses up in the New York City Reservoir watershed. And I sued him successfully to stop that. And at one point, um, my wife, she, she wanted to go to Palm Beach for the weekend to see my mom over uh, Easter. And uh, I said, I, you know, I didn't want to buy tickets for all the kids. And she said, what if I find a free ride? And I said, OK. Then she said, I found a free ride. And I said, who? Oh. And she said, Donald Trump. And I said, oh, I'm suing him. <laughs> And she said, he told me he knows you're suing him, but it's okay anyway. <laughs> and, uh, and we ended up flying down with him, and I had a great time. I still sued him, and... <laughs> that... Yeah. It's such an interesting story, because you kind of separate the friendship from the legal stuff. It's like, yeah, you sue me, I get it, that's what you do. Yeah. But I'm not, like, you want to use my plane? Fine. I mean, p some people would not understand that. No, I, I think I have been able to do that. Otherwise, I would have nobody to talk to at all. <laughs> you know? It was... And he loves Diet Coke, but hates the woke. Choosing this insanity over Sean Hannity. Let's crank it up to 11 for President 45 and 47. The man who tried to make no So my friends, that's all I have for you for now. The best moments of Donald Trump in Great Godfrey Show. What do you think about it? Give me your comments. Positive, negative, thumbs up, thumbs down, it doesn't matter. All of them are helping this channel. All of them are helping me to be discovered by the algorithm of YouTube and promoted. Uh, on When I say promoted, I'm saying my channel will pop up more there in the search engine so 
liking, disliking, thumbs up, thumbs down, good comments, negative comments, all of them are helping my channel. And I'm grateful to all of you. But in the end, as a Christian YouTuber, as Christian creator, content creator, I'm telling you one thing. The only one that makes America great again, the only one that can make a difference in America and anywhere else, is not Mr. Trump really, it's Jesus. We come back to Jesus. We allow Jesus to be in control. And our country, no matter how our country is called, will be great. God bless you all. And thank you so much, my beloved friends, for watching. If you haven't subscribed just yet, please subscribe. If you want to become a member of this channel, now you can. Thank you so much, my friends.